Hello everyone, welcome. This is Splish Splash 40 again, and I am bringing you something that I would like to do and to share with you. It's uh, how to improve your sniping, and it's like in every game because I think it's some general things that you can use to improve your sniping, especially in a multiplayer game. This is on Sanctuary, uh, by the way, Modern Warfare 3. And uh, here's the first one Map knowledge, find spots. The better you know the maps, you, you, you know, you will get better gameplay, definitely. Here's one of the spots, I mean, here on Sanctuary, people will come from the seaside, so I get a guy there, you know. And I'm also waiting, because someone slips through, there we have him. And uh, now it's a little bit more uh, quiet, I think my mates are shooting people still coming from the seaside. So I'm waiting here for a little bit, because I want to make sure that no one else goes, like, through our line of fire. And uh, we have A and B, and now they will probably start to go to A, I'm pretty sure. So map knowledge is also to know where people spawn. And when you play Domination, of course, this is easier when you have two flags like A and B, because you will know that they will spawn on C. So that's good for you. Check corners, don't run. Meaning, when you come like this, look at the minimap. There's a guy coming. I have to be still. Here you can see it again. When I go around the corner, otherwise I will get killed. So here I am not going straight to A, I go another route, another way. Because there's another sort of place I want to be. Aiming, accuracy, getting into this spot. I'm staying in the shadows and I see this sniper and take him down. Another guy's coming up the stairs, I take him. Uh, aiming and accuracy is something you have to learn and to train. Uh, that you can do either by playing multiplayer games or and together with a friend uh, to line up your shots. Meaning you have to get used to get the enemy on the mid of the screen in order to hit him. Also, good ear, uh, good headphones is good because I hear that guy and when I step forward a little bit I see him. Uh, here I go back because I hear some other guys shooting. So behind cover and shooting, hiding. I shoot, I hide. I shoot, I hide because I miss. I'm suppressed, but I get the guy eventually. So there you go. Uh, and also reloading uh, behind cover might be crucial. If not, you might get killed easily. Here my, my friend gets shot. I have no C4. Uh, I get into cover and use my secondary. He's not dead yet, so I get behind cover again. I look out a little bit. Another player's head popped up. I get him instead. So, the secondary, definitely, it's the sniper's best friend. Checking this area again, but uh, there's no one there. Shooting a dead body, I don't know why. <laughs> so, no one is coming down the stairs here. So, I am calling in my overwatch. There we go. Again, advancing a little bit forward, but still reloading in cover, as we said before. No one's there. In the middle, oh, an enemy, but my own watch will help me here. I see another guy, line up the shot and take him out. Uh, putting up my UAV, which is, I think, one of the absolute best streaks you can have to help yourself and your teammates to locate where the enemy is at in the map. I look at the mini map, I see someone shooting here in the corridor, but it's already gone. So. Uh, this is also a spot at Sanctuary, I mean the corridor is like, it's quite linear, so you can uh, sort of check the corridors and see if someone's coming there. Here I am pretty sure that someone has gone around from C and yeah, here's a sniper. Uh, and as you see it's like a fail first, I think it's because I'm moving while I'm shooting. But I get him, whew, that was close. Back into our spawn, our, our B uh, sort of resting place and reloading a little bit and back into the action. Uh, I'm going back into the plaza again here on Sanctuary, but well, that can be quite busy. And I think uh, they will come here to, to uh, get A again. So I'm moving ahead uh, to A. You see, I scope in once in a while just to see if there's someone, you know, coming down the stairs or something. Uh, moving into the middle of the map. And here we are again regarding aim. I have to stop in order to shoot, but hey, we all know in COD games we have something that gives people an opportunity to kill you already, although they're already down, which I hate. And that's an issue, and I hope they will take that away. 
uh, eventually in a new game like Black Ops 2 when that comes. I really hope they do. So, looking down here, some guys is coming in, but I uh, have nothing to do actually because my friends are doing a good game in this lobby. Uh, staying in cover, trying to see if I can find uh, an enemy that's spawning here on the seaside. And eventually, someone comes down the stairs over there. So I get him, put attack insert here, look at the minimap, get a quick scope. As you see, I am lining the shot up. Shot up. I'm not shutting up. I'm lining up the shot and I get him. So going back to C, but here you have to be careful. Uh, watch your back if that's possible because I didn't do that there. Into this open area again, and here is a lot of traffic. So I'm staying in cover, shooting, back, shooting, back. And I get those two guys. Actually, there are more people here, and I want to take this guy as well, but I can't. I Oof, finally, I get him. I was really lucky there, really lucky. Um, yeah. So, shaking the corridor, this guy, but he sort of just vanished in smoke. Uh, I reload in cover and uh, move on into this uh, corridor or passage again, but that, there's no one there. So I'm trying to... Um, I know that someone will come down here. I got my friend also covering the area, but I want to kill here. Uh, so I'm, I'm staying. Stay put. Trust in yourself. And you see, here comes the guy, and I get him. I also see on the minimap that there's someone else on the left side here getting into the mill. I miss my shots, which is not good, but I get a hit marker there, and he disappears. And that's also something, don't run after enemies if you've shot them like that. I mean, you can do, but then eventually, yeah, you see, you get killed. Although they, that might be another guy, but still, uh, it's better to step back and, and uh, take another shot at another guy. Here we lose A, so I want to help my teammates to cap it again. Put my attack in, in, in here and move towards A. Here I do some terrible misses, but back and forth into cover, as we talked about before, behind cover shooting. And uh, moving on to A, but look at this, this is quite weird. I get shot, or explosion or something here. And uh, unfortunately the game ends here because my connection got lost. So I'm standing here just waiting, but nothing happens. So this was a gameplay that I've tried to like discuss some things, some general stuff that might improve your sniping, especially if you're a beginner. The battery here is good also because you can spam the trigger uh, in close quarter battle, which I will show you in some clips I've got for you. So now let's wrap it up. Here we have the aim and accuracy and also moving back and forth into cover there. Here we move on with check the corners. I hear him, I step back, I go forward and I got him. Here I've just entered uh, gameplay and I have good earphones, uh, headphones that is. So I hear the guy and get lucky enough to get the, uh, the final shot for the victory. That was kind of weird but sometimes you're lucky. So we got a nice kill cam for that as well. Boom, sticking my barrel into his belly butt. Here it's a... Uh, I'm trying to flank a little bit. So first we have line up your shot two times in a row and then start shooting from cover, lining up your shot. You see they're coming from this spawn over there and uh, I can quite easily take them out. But I have to reload and there's a guy coming and I get a hit marker and I get pooped at. So, wrapping it up all together then. Awareness at a map. I see and hear this guy. I take him out. I move forward to the drop zone. And uh, I'm not running into the drop zone. I try to put up my attack insert and take a look what's happening. I see the guy coming down the stairs. I have no C4. So I want to shoot that guy, so I look into scoping from here and get him. Someone is shooting at me and there he is. Like 180 degrees turning around and spamming the trigger of the Barret. One more guy is lying down and I get him. So guys, I hope you can use some of this stuff I've been talking about to your advantage in the gameplay. 
Thanks for watching and uh, bye bye.